Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm going to show you how to get started editing your Moodle site. This video was filmed in September 2013, so depending on when you're accessing the video and what version of Moodle you're using, your site may look a little different from what you see here, but the basic functions and principles should still hold. Um, so watch carefully, feel free to pause this video when you need to, and you should be able to use these steps to start editing your Moodle site. So when you open your Moodle site for the first time, it will be a lot more blank than what you actually see here. We're just using this as an example site, um, and I can show you some, some additional things this way, but your site will be fully blank. Um, the biggest thing for you to remember every, every time you need to edit your site is this button up here in the upper right-hand corner that says Turn Editing On. That's always in the upper right-hand side of the screen, and this is your key to unlocking Moodle for editing. You always need to make sure to click this and toggle Moodle into editing mode, which I'm doing right now. Um, and then Moodle will enter this mode where you see additional um, little icons here you can use to edit the different features of your site. Um, so you'll need to do that or you will not be able to change anything on your site. This is for your protection so you don't end up editing things that you didn't really mean to edit, but it can be tricky to remember at first that you always need to toggle editing on when you want to start editing. And when you're done editing, you can toggle this back off and click turn editing off. Okay, so once editing is toggled on, some of the most common things you'll probably add to your site, and you can see some of those already illustrated here, um, but I'll show you how to go ahead and add those in by doing this. And you'll notice actually each section of your Moodle site, so this very top intro section, um, this sort of first content panel here, has these links at the bottom called add an activity or resource. So every section of your Moodle site has this add an activity or resource link here. So we're going to go ahead and click on one of these. And these, these are all kind of the wealth of things that you can go ahead and add to your site. All right, so some of the most common things you'll probably add. First one, very obvious, is the URL. The URL is just a link to something outside of Moodle. So if you need to link to a YouTube video, you can add that as a URL. If you need to link to um, a resource page, a government document or something like that, you, you can use the URL and just it's a web link, basically. Um, another thing you'll probably likely consider adding to your Moodle site is this assignment here. Um, this is just something that lets you define a task and have students or participants upload a file back to you in response to that task um, or upload you know, text and respond. This is sort of a two-way thing between the instructor and a participant uh, in the site. Um, other participants won't see sort of that interaction. It's a private assignment. Um, another thing you might use is a forum here. Uh, this lets you kind of set a topic and have participants sort of talk back and forth about a different topic. So there are a couple different types of forums. Um, we have a video on that you can kind of look at separately, um, but a forum is a pretty common way of adding some social interaction to a Moodle site. Another thing you might likely add is a quiz that's down here. Um, in a quiz, you set that up, and then you have to go in and write you know, specific questions inside each quiz. Um, you can have multiple choice, short answer, different questions, auto-grading questions, um, questions that you need to go in and grade yourself, um, or even just self-check quizzes that don't, don't even give a grade. Um, so quizzes is pretty flexible, um, just a way to add kind of little questions uh, participants can answer. Uh, another thing you might add is a page, um, and a page is just a blank slate for you to add content. Um, if you know HTML at all, it's basically just the, the most bare bones version of an HTML page, or you can just type plain text into this page and just display some content for students. Um, it's a great way to add, I don't know, um, a couple paragraphs on a topic, maybe a picture, um, and students could click into that, kind of read up on a topic, and then click back to the main Moodle site. Um, so those are some of the most common things you might think of adding. Can't go through them all here, but just to know, get a general sense of what they do. Um, two sort of underutilized things that you might want to also pay attention to are this label function. Adding labels um, helps you organize your site. So you can add text labels that sort of spell out the different sections of your site. You can also use labels, um, interestingly, to add an embedded video or an image onto your main Moodle page. Um, so think about labels in that context. Um, and one of the sort of lesser known and underappreciated Moodle features is this feedback up at the top. Um, feedback you can basically think of like a survey. It lets you, oops, sorry, it lets you collect survey data um, or just get general input from course participants. And it can be private just to the instructor 
um, or site manager, um, or you can kind of, you can make it public and kind of um, so other participants can kind of view the collective wisdom of of the group. Um, so again, can't go through all of these right now, but just know these all live in this add an activity or resource page. All right, I'm going to cancel out of that. So hopefully that will get you started editing your site and thinking about some of the things that you can add. If you are curious about the functions of any one of those things that I kind of went through very quickly here, this is a great place to check this Moodle instructor manual. This is at the top of every Moodle site at the University of Minnesota. And that's a great place to click in and get guides on all of the different things inside of Moodle and how to set them up. So if you're curious about anything I mentioned, please, please click through these instructor guides. They're maintained by the Office of Information Technology and they're really, really um, well done. So that's a way to get some more information. All right, again, every time you edit your Moodle site, remember, click Turn Editing On. You've got all these great things you can do with it. Um, and then anytime you need to add something, just add an activity or a resource. Go nuts. You won't break anything. It's a lot of fun. All right, thanks, and happy Moodling.